is Andy TV. And you are watching Andy TV Prime. It's always gratifying to see a lot of energy and euphoria around any new model launch and uh, especially when you think about it coming from a relatively newer or unknown brand in the Indian market. That's exactly what's happened and we're not surprised of course because I'm talking about the Jeep Compass. So much anticipation for so many months it's held up okay because all of that has resulted in a bit of a blockbuster debut and to talk about that we are coming to you from inside a Jeep showroom. So all of these people, all of this action, you better believe it, it's going to be around here in these showrooms for some time. Joining me to speak about it is Kevin Flynn, who can't stop smiling. No, <laughs> I can't. I must admit, when I arrived here to uh, meet with you and just walking in and just just it's getting a, a feel of the of the buzz and uh, and every every desk was full, every car was being looked at. Uh, it's uh, it's look, we've worked hard to get to this point. It's great to see this energy though and you know we've, we've also had so much of um, let's say anticipation around it because a lot of us have started talking about it from a product perspective really uh, but now if you sort of move to step two because you've already talked about product people now know largely I would say that uh, you know what to expect but um, how, how difficult is it now to make sure that you deliver on the promise as it were yeah look we put a lot of work into that and, and we understood it's one thing to have a great product but that product has got to be backed up by the environment um, and also has got to be backed up by uh, heaps of customer care and, uh, and confidence. And, and, and we have done a lot of work on that. I mean, across the country, uh, this what we're sitting in now is what we call one of our destination stores. We've got 10 of these across the country. The, the, the cynical question I have to ask you, uh, in the past, not with uh, Jeep or FCA, but uh, with any big, let's say, hit product, uh, which gets such a raucous, you know, welcome to the market. Um, that we've we've seen dealers sometimes erring on the side of, you know, either you could call it arrogance or you could call it not really being able to handle that kind of onslaught uh, that comes to them. How much of that training has focused on that? Yeah, it has, and, and and it was on the manpower and the recruitment of the manpower because effectively at the beginning of this year, I think we had something in the region of um, 50 dedicated uh, Jeep sales team which were of course focusing on the CBU product at that time and we knew to go live now we needed something like 550 and, and then there's a further uh, development from there. We've achieved that and, and, and part and parcel of the recruitment was then the training, getting people up to speed with the product but getting more up to speed with well what, what are going to be customer expectations of Jeep as a brand? How do we, how do we deliver the, the, the promise of what, what, what Jeep is? Um, you announced 5,000 bookings at the time yes. of uh, your, your press launch the other day. Um, I reckon for every one of those 5,000, there was probably two who were still waiting for that price announcement before they jumped in and, and sort of, and I'm sure they have now. Uh, how are you going to handle it, the numbers? So we've looked at that and one of the key things and that I've challenged the dealers with is there's got to be a, a level of uh, discipline to make sure that as we start the deliveries, there is an appropriate level of resource and focus on the deliveries to make sure that handover is memorable, is informative and gives the customers everything that they need in terms of becoming the owner of that vehicle. Secondly, at the same time as that's going on, clearly we're getting a lot of people coming into the dealerships wanting the test drives. So we've got to make sure that the right levels of resource are being applied to those core areas to make sure that we can continue to take the bookings but at the same time we can deliver a super start to their ownership experience. Discipline is going to be the key to it. I and mean, you have one advantage in a sense that traditionally uh, the appetite for riding out long waiting periods has been higher with SUVs in general. We've seen that in the market so, so that's let's say an advantage but having said that uh, how much pressure does this put on production for you? We, we, because you also have an expert yeah, target. No, so. no, look, from a capacity point of view, we're okay. Because, because in all fairness, Ranjan Gaon has not been maximised. So we've got plenty of scope there. The key thing is, is obviously we celebrated start of production beginning of uh, uh, July. 
and um, what then happens is you get what you call ramp up so you know we're closely monitoring quality that is fundamentally 100% number one goal we will not release any cars unless they absolutely meet the exacting standards that we've set ourselves so um, production's been going very very well and we've been running for a while and starting to build up uh, our launch stock and now we're seeing the ramp up go up so as long as we keep to the um, the profile that we set trajectory we set I think I think we'll, we, we will be fine uh, but quality is number one and and we will maintain that standard I mean not that I'm surprised to hear you say that but it's still nice to hear you say that uh, when you say ramp up do you see that being an accelerated ramp up now I mean I know maybe it's too early to ask you this two days in but um, just going by the kind of numbers we are starting to see at, at dealerships do you think you need to maybe revisit how quickly <laughs> you ramp up I, I, I think there's two things I think I think look, we, we will only be able to push manufacturing as far as manufacturing are comfortable to be pushed we all want yeah exactly because as I say the, the, you know, this is a global car and is built to exacting global standards so we're not going to compromise on that and one of the things I said on, on Monday you know this isn't a car for India this is a global car that we make in India we've managed to achieve a 65% uh, local content at time of launch and we're working on a number of projects at the moment so we will see that see that actually raise we actually started on Monday the first uh, export car went down the production line as well so our exports start in the uh, in the fourth quarter so we're, we're managing a number of dynamics the other thing is as well you sort of set yourself out what you think the uh, customers are going to want in terms of the specification is it going to be the seven-speed automatic is it going to be the uh, uh, diesel two-wheel drive the four-wheel drive and so forth and we thought that we got that okay it's looking oh, reasonably okay um, but definitely we're going to have to be upping our level of uh, of seven speed automatic um, so we're already working on that and and uh, and then getting the color combination right as well so you, you can never guarantee hitting it 100% on day one but I, I think we've got enough flexibility to uh, maneuver it over the coming months but uh, it, it's super encouraging I mean it's exciting what does this mean for your operation within Jeep's global uh, setup in the sense that yes of course you've already said all right-hand drive markets that get this car yeah it's going from here um, I assume that you know as these cars start going into those markets once again it'll sort of start to pick up you know as people see the car drive it sure etc so so that's you know where your export number itself could increase but um, but what does it mean going forward I mean could you be doing other models from here as well um, or is that too soon yeah to look, look, how this I mean, look, they're, they're, we're focusing 100% on compass right now um, we want to make sure we don't trip up and uh, and scratch our knees we what we, we really want to make sure that all the expectation out there is met and exceeded because that in itself is going to create fantastic word of mouth which in itself is going to create demand and drive forward. Um, so, of course, every car company has got a has got a long-range plan, and um, we too have got a long-range plan. And 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 this car is is critical to unlocking those aspirations that we have um, for uh, our manufacturing here and, and and what we do here. So. This is, I've said in a couple of these exchanges, you know, this is like the, the first chapter in a new book, but shush, we need to really make sure that first chapter is absolutely solid, absolutely delivered before we start uh, talking about or even opening up those, those, those other opportunities. Coming back to the product itself, yeah. uh, yes, we've had discussions with you, uh, with your global counterparts about, you know, what this product needed to be, what are the boxes you needed to tick, and, and from a global context, not just an Indian context. Uh, now that you're seeing people coming in, you know, the real buyer coming in and touching the car and test driving it, etc. Uh, what are your dealers telling you? The initial reactions? Uh, the the initial reactions are phenomenal. I saw pictures of the crowds that I know. At the I mean, I was getting pictures yesterday <laughs> coming through from the dealerships. We actually had one dealership uh, in Delhi where the the um, police had the traffic police had to come down twice to try and. Regular. I mean, it, 
it, look, it's it's what we wanted, you know. It's it's, but but it's it's new for me. You know, I'm two and a half years in into being in India. And this is the first new product that uh, that that we that I've launched as such. And to do that press announcement and price announcement on Monday, and then the very next day we've got dealerships full, uh, is is very special. It's quite humbling, actually. It's. Um, it, it's very humbling, and, and it just makes you realise that all of that hard work, all of the effort the team has put in, the hours we spent on quality, the hours we spent driving the car, testing the car, evaluating the car, and then we get it here and it's being met with enthusiasm. Um, I think it's fantastic, absolutely fantastic. And it, it's, 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 it's what we all set out to do, you know, everybody sets out to make a great car, let's be honest about it. Um, but when you look at it and feel it and touch it and look at the fit and finish and the substance, I always say, look at the, just get a sense of the substance of the car. That's what makes it special. This isn't, anybody can make an SUV, but not everybody can make a Jeep. And right from the word go, this project has, has, has always been about the essence and, and the DNA of this car and the capabilities of this car. And, and, and now it's in the showroom and people are ordering it and, and now we're on, in the first thousand cars have, have left the, the yard on transporters. It's, it's, a, it's a very, very special moment. And as I say, for myself and the team, it's one that we're, uh, we're humbled by.